In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your Intel RealSense camera and connect it with Python to show a color image and a depth image. The Intel RealSense is a line of cameras that Intel puts out that incorporate both depth sensing and RGB imaging in one small camera. Now this camera is cool because it's relatively low cost. Now the cost is gonna vary. This is a D435, maybe it's about $300 now. A Couple years ago it was a bit less. And the price is gonna vary based on the model you have. So they have models like the D435i, which has some gyroscope inside of it. They have a D415, they have a D455. And really the major difference is the, the range that the depth sensor can see, the angle, the resolution. So they, if you're looking for a specific application, you should check out the different specifications to choose a sensor that fits your needs. Now, I am just using the 435. This 435 right here has a USB-C cable, which is what we use to connect it to the computer. So hopefully my program doesn't crash again, but the important thing about this USB-C cable is you're using a USB 3.0. I'll try to show you the error you get if you use a USB 2.0 cable, and that error doesn't always occur. It occurs at, well, at least for me, it occurs when I'm trying to run the camera at higher resolutions uh, for RGB. And I get some sort of error that says I can't get any, uh, can't get any frames from my camera. So I'm gonna, so use the USB 3.0 cable to try to eliminate those problems. First, let's install the dependencies we need. This is not Linux specific. I'm just using Linux because I want to eventually move this camera onto ROS. So I'm gonna pip install uh, pi real sense two. I'm gonna pip install OpenCV Python and I'm gonna pip install NumPy. And all of these are already installed for me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my editor and I'm going to import those uh, packages. So import PyRealSense2 as RealSense. I want to import NumPy as NP and I want to import uh, CV2. So those are the three packages I'm using. And now let's make a connection to the webcam. So first, uh, let's create a pipe. And this is going to be rs.pipeline. Next, we're gonna create this variable that's called config, and it's gonna be rs.config. And this is where we're going to make all the initiation calls that set up the settings we want in our webcam. So the first thing we're going to do is cfg.enable and uh, enable stream. And what we need to do is this is tells us we're gonna start our uh, RGB streaming. So rs.stream.color. And then we can pick the actual dimension of the color image we want. So I'm just gonna use 640 by 480 right now. And my format is gonna be rs.format. I'm using OpenCV. So I wanna do BGR8, so an 8-bit. Uh, and 30 frames per second. We're gonna do the same thing, cfg.enable stream, rs.stream.depth. Uh, uh, again, I'm gonna use 640 by 480. And rsformat this time is going to be rs.format.z for depth, 16-bit. Uh, and again, I'm gonna do 30 frames per second. So at this point, I said, okay, this is my color stream. This is the size of my color image. This is the format of my color image. And this is my frames per second. If you're looking for any of these options, so this is depth. If you're looking for any of these options, you can install the Intel RealSense SDK and they'll show you the available options that you have with your cable that you're using. Okay, so now let's start this config. So now we've started the, the streaming. 
And now we'll create an infinite for loop and we'll wait for our frames to become available. So frame is equal to pipe dot wait for frames. So this is going to get me my depth and my color image. So my depth frame is going to be equal to frames or frame dot get depth frame my color frame is going to be equal to frame dot get color frame now this is in a different format than what we can use so what i want to do is i want to convert my images to numpy arrays so depth image is numpy dot as any array i want to say depth frame dot get data. So this is going to convert this depth frame data to an array that's a NumPy array. So then we can have it in a format that OpenCV can use. All right, so now let's do the same thing with color image. So color image is NumPy dot as any array color frame dot get data. And let's show these. So CV2 that I am show, this will be my RGB color. And I'm going to show this color image. Then we'll have CV2 that I am show. This will be my depth. And for my depth, I'm going to show my depth image. Then I can do something with the wait key. So it automatically runs again and again. So if CV2 dot wait key one, is equal to ORD of Q, then we can break. If we break out of this loop, so if we press Q on one of these, uh, if we press Q, it's gonna break out of this uh, stream. And then we just wanna stop pipe dot stop. Okay, so let's run this and what do we get? Uh, the error we get is it's a bad argument. So my color image is a bad argument. Oh, I need, I need to make this a function right here. So it gets the data. So now when I run it, I, I do get something. So I now need to change the screen capture. So, so I get something that looks like this. I have two images. The one on the bottom is my RGB image. The one on the top is my depth image. If I look over here, you can see uh the difference in depth it's a gradient that's gray so as i move my hand forward and backwards the well the depth should change it's sort of hard to see so let's actually put a let's put a color map on this so let's put this color map on so my depth we'll say color map is going to be equal to uh, CV2 dot apply color map and we can use the CV2 dot convert scale and ABS and what this does is we're going to take our depth image and we're going to have an alpha value of 0.5 So we're, we're creating the scale right now uh, on this depth image, alpha value 0 0.5. And right here we'll use CV2 dot color map jet. So now instead of, instead of displaying our depth image, we'll display our depth color map. So let's run this. And now our depth color map is a jet color map. And it's a little bit easier to see what the depth is. So the different gradients are different depth values that we have. Uh, I believe blue 
the blue value you see is actually zero depth because it can't actually figure out the depth for uh, whatever reason. So there you go. So the really powerful thing about this is we can just use OpenCV once we have this color image to do whatever manipulation we want. So let's say we want to take a grayscale image. So my gray image is going to be CV2.ConvertColor. I'm going to take my color image and I'm going to convert that. So CV2. Con uh, it's going to be CV2.Color. And we're going to go from BGR to gray, right? BGR is how my image is coming in. And we want to go to grayscale. And then we can show this gray image. So let's run this. And now I am showing a grayscale, uh, a grayscale image. So you can do any type of manipulation that you want. Finally, I want to show you some errors that you might that you might get. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to comment out my depth image right here, and we're going to increase my video stream to 1920 by 1080. And we're going to run this, and I get a video stream. So my RGB. That is 1920 by 1080. What I'd like to do now is, so we know this code works, right? We have this code, the code works. So what I'd like to do is not touch the code at all, but change what I'm using from a USB 3.0 cable to a USB 2.0 cable. So this is my 2.0 cable and I'm gonna run the same code. So let me hide this RGB. I'm just gonna run it. And I'm gonna get this problem right here. I get this problem that I couldn't resolve requests. And the only change I've done is I've changed from a USB 3.0 to a 2.0. Now, if I change back to the 3.0, so the 3.0 is now reconnected and I try to run this again, it runs. And, and I'm actually able to get my, my image again. So, that's one of the most annoying problems that I've worked with with this with this Intel RealSense is sometimes uh, before I knew it was happening, I'd be using a USB 2.0 cable and I would be having a problem because my I knew my code worked, but I wouldn't be able to get the higher resolution streams to come through. So hopefully this has shown you how you can connect your Intel RealSense with using PyRealSense 2 and displaying the image with Python and OpenCV.